don't think those who were listening to Ali Velshi this weekend got the uh, uh, important essence out there that Maria Inojosa brought brought forth. I think it's more important than the simplicity of the statement because there lies most of the problems why we have a very ill-informed constituency and ill-informed populace. Listen to Maria Inojosa, and then we'll take it on the other side. Is there a a way that this narrative can be changed, even in this coming election, where we can just sort of sit here and say, this isn't a race to the bottom on who can be harder on immigrants. We actually have to think about our future as a country, the the immigrants we need, and returning to being a welcoming country for them. Well, so I would put it on us, on our fellow journalists, right, to continue to talk about the facts of what immigrants actually do do and bring. What Recently, there was a post, a piece in the Washington Post that was saying what immigrants do for the American economy, that just during the pandemic lifted the American economy so that wages are increasing, for example. But you have to have the desire to do that, yeah. Ali. And frankly, too many people in our country falling victim to this are just lazy in their understanding of immigrants. Yes. And you know what? We are everywhere. One, two... Three, behind the camera, in front of the camera. My, da- my dad created the, helped to create the cochlear implant. We're serving fruits and vegetables to people. We are everywhere in every single state. So open your eyes. Are they in fact that threat, that horde, that mob that Donald Trump says? Or are they the guy working in the kitchen in your local little yeah. diner? It, like in, in my experience, that's what they are. Like in my town yeah. in Connecticut. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. I have women who say, I'm afraid, I'm afraid they're they're coming. And I'm like, but the guy who's making your sandwich in the morning at the diner, yeah. he's undocumented. And they're like, he is. I'm like, have you spoken to him? Yeah. So we continue to talk yeah. to combat fascism and name it by talking continuously yeah. and doing this kind of journalism, not guess. giving up. Thank you. Maria Hinojosa is the president and founder of Futuro Media and author of Once I Was You. Again, Maria Hinojosa nails it. In other words, it starts with us. The journalists out there, instead of being sensational when they are out there promoting whatever it is that they're promoting, instead of taking the lead from the right wing and allowing them to lead the narrative, you have to be the, the 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 mainstream media has got to get responsible and not wait for uh, a few like Maria Hinojosa to come on and remind journalism of what it must be, what it should be, but actually be it. You know, at Coffee Party USA, we had instituted a program called Be the Media. Because the MSM has failed us so much, the mainstream media, that is, has failed us so much. The idea was we all had to become the media. But with that comes some risks, right? Because there are a lot of rules that one must follow in order to to make it clear to others that, in fact, this is reliable. This is truthful. So, I mean, there, there are a lot of intricacies to all of us being the media. But you know what? We can all have. We can all be the media as long as we have solid aggregators that there that that brings it all together. And I tell you what, that is where ultimately we have to go with the media falling apart, with the uh, venture capitalists trying to uh, buy up media as just another cog to make money and then ensure that the sensationalism of what's out there is all that's put out. We have to be the media. And as. Uh, Maria Hinojosa said, we have got to take it over from the bottom all the way to the top so that we get an informed populace. We are uninformed at our own detriment. And unfortunately, that's where we are. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please 
join.